Hey all, Turtle here, coming at you with another PSA video submission, uh, PSA submission video. So uh, this is part two, if you haven't seen part one, check it out. That was some of the cards um, being submitted by some of my patrons. Uh, today this is, we have two stack of cards to go through that I'm submitting to PSA. Uh, for everyone that enjoys Watsy cards, um, you might enjoy the beginning of this stack. And uh, well, we'll see why. So starting off, we have base set Alex Zam. The one of 102 from base set. This is unlimited. So I'm not going to look at the backs of the cards. Um, most likely there's not any 10s. I think, you know, a 9 here or there is possible. But that's probably as high as the grades will get. But we got Blastoise, number 2, the OG Turtle. Got a couple of him. So we're going to have a whole lot of the original sets. So primarily it's going to be unlimited. So we got a few Chanseys. Gyarados. Hitmonchan, my champ from the starter deck, always first edition. So I, I guess they're not all limited, but you know this one's not really exactly first edition. We got Magneton. So tons of cards from base set. So we did uh, not see the Charizard, but we probably we will have some at some point. Bunch of Nine Tails. I believe this came from a starter deck, so a little bit easier to pick up. And the last starter, Venusaur bunch of Venusaur and number 16 Zapdos the legendary bird of base set I feel like um Zapdos must be a pretty easy card to grade uh because I feel like the prices are like surprisingly low all right moving on to jungle we have Pidgeot so we jump right to number eight but then we got Scyther very cool card All right, continuing with jungle, we have, I think we have a bunch of Vaporeon. I think a um, long, long time ago, about like 20 some odd years ago, uh, when jungle came out, like I tried to make a deck around Vaporeon. So I think I kind of just had a bunch of them. But then we got Venomoth from jungle. All right, moving on to base set two, in my opinion, hugely underappreciated set. And uh, would like to put together a base set 2 collection, uh, just like PSA 9 or 8, doesn't really matter. Not 10s, like 10s going to be pretty hard to pick up, I think. Nidoqueen, Queen, Polyrath. I think we got a couple of Raichus. Wigglytuff, and we should be right, wrapped up with base set 2 on to Fossil. Starting with number 1 and number 2, Articuno. And we got a couple Hunter. Hunter, I was always a fan of this card because even though he didn't do a lot of damage, um, automatically put to sleep, you don't have to flip a coin, and then transparency, you might just dodge damage every single time. I kind of like them better than Gengar. Uh, Hypno, this one's first edition. Kabutops, some Lapras. Muck, I think Muck, uh, was Muck from a theme deck? Dark Arbok, so we're moving on to Rocket, this one's first edition. First edition Hypno, Unlimited Machamp, Dark Doug Trio. Couple of Weezings, I think this is also a theme deck. Here comes Team Rocket and the Rocket Sneak Attack trainers. Here we have a first edition non hollow Blastoise. Love that art. Some Gym Challenge Gym Heroes, Koga's B Drill, Rocket Zapdos, first edition. Then onto some Neo cards. We got two Magnemites. This is when like Steel was brand new. I think the Steel Energy of the Metal Energy. Um, we actually have one. Kind of gave you more defense or take less damage. Polyrath, a couple unknown A's. Yanma, first edition. Heracross, Jump Pluff. Kingdra, I feel like these are uh, kind of like the lesser appreciated cards. I feel like even those graded don't go for much. Meganium, so we do have some starters. Here's that metal energy we're talking about. Uh, so, yeah, so reduce damage by 10. Houndoom, Porygon 2. Okay, now we have some promos. This is promo number one. I believe this was just for attending league or something. And I think this might be the same attack set as the jungle. Uh, from the movie, we got Electabuzz, Dragonite, special delivery Dragonite. The Mew promo. Bunch of this one. Um, oh, wait, is this the jungle attack set? I can't remember, but we got a... Promo Pikachu 27. Another Mewtwo. Uh, what is this? Is this also from the movie? 
And then the Ancient Mew card. Right, let's move on to the Legendary Birds. I think I was, I have, I think two of three, or maybe one or, one or two of these in PSA 10 already. Double the Zapdos. The Entei. Very cool card. Oh, yes. And to wrap up, we do. Usually when I'm finding cards to submit, so I'm like, all right, well, let's get some Charizards in there. So I'll just grab a stack of Charizards. All right, we'll include these in the submission as well. So that's stack number one. We got one more stack to go through. And it looks like this is going to be a three-part video. So uh, I think the third part, I think, has some of the best cards. So stay tuned for that. But be right back for part number two. All right, in case you're newer to the channel, uh, I actually it was a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day. In fact, we played much more Yu-Gi-Oh! growing up than Pokemon, uh, and I did enjoy some of the shows, so I am starting to collect some Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, including some Ultimate Rares. Here we got uh, Yubel, Terror Incarnate, Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, did really like the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX era, got two Ultimate Wing Karibo level 10s, and then we just have a bunch of promos. Uh, I don't think these are worth much, but I just kind of like enjoy, you know, the OG cards, the blue eyes, the dark magician. So we have a couple blue eyes. I think one of these might be from the movie. And the, the regular, the good old god cards with Obelisk, Slifer, oh, where's Ra? <laughs> dark magician, another blue eyes, white dragon, dark magician girl. This is from Dual Power. I did open a good amount of Dual Power, and these are, look how miscut that is. Uh, so, like, it's into beyond the border. I thought it would be cool if you could see, like, what the next card is. So, we didn't exactly get all the way there, but we have two uh, Beacot from the Underworld, as well as Platinum Gadget. Very miscut cards, and I thought it would be cool to have a set of Exodia in PSA. Alright, on to the Pokemon stuff. We have a very cool Japanese promo. I believe, is this, like, Battle City or something, so it's a Charizard, and then you got a Venusaur in the background, kind of entangling him up. Uh, I think this is really cool. Uh, I imagine Venusaur versus Charizard wouldn't go too well, but I feel like he's holding his own so far. We got some of the Burning Shadow Secret Energies, so opened a lot of Burning Shadows over the years, and so I figured we'll get some of these energies graded. Oh wait, this is from what set is that from? Guardians Rising, maybe. Um, so actually, just as the only one with burning shots, but we got some fighting and some metal energies as well. Dragon's Majesty Charizard. Kind of a, wasn't a great set, but did have a Charizard. Here's some of the CEC Secret Rares. So I think we have one of all of them. Magnemite. Uh, there's some more coming on later on. Red's Pikachu. I think this card, um, was never, when I picked them up, it was pretty cheap. I think it was like 8 bucks a pop. Uh, so I picked up a bunch of them. Very unique card. I'm not sure if it's gonna worth much, but uh, very unique, very cool. A bunch of those. This is, I think, this is like another battle uh, promo from 2014. It's pretty cool. You got Mega Gengar in there, Lucario, Pancham, Sylveon. All right, level X is so pretty, uh, pretty much, I'm pretty much nowhere as far as level X. Uh, PSA card. So we're starting with the promos. We have Torterra, Palkia, Mewtwo. Here's another one of those Entei promos. And I think this was from a maybe like a trainer deck or something. So we got Latios and Latias. Delta Species. Very cool era in my opinion. Uh, wasn't really collecting at that time, so kind of starting from scratch. We got the Mewtwo, but this is not a Hollow. Here's another level X, uh, Heatran. Camera up. I can't remember what set this is from, but I just I think it's pretty cool art. All right, for some more modern stuff, Rillaboom pulled a whole lot of these. A couple of Rillabooms. V Max, a random Hidden Fates Tapu Lele Gold card. Ooh, very cool Blastoise. It's like the Shatter Rare, Shatter Foil. A Plusle, cute little Plusle. These we have some of these promos from. Man, I don't remember what the box was called, but it had like the uh, Umbreon, Darkrai, Espeon, um, Deoxys kind of cards. From Peko VMAX. Ooh, here's a big, big card. Charizard Reverse from Expedition. Not my favorite art, but uh, pretty cool set. A Rainbow Turtle with his good friend, little penguin friend, Piplup. I think, um,. I think I like the alternate arts. Uh, I'm not sure if I have that in 10 yet. But here's that Umbria Dark Rye we were talking about. Oh, this product. 
And it, uh, this is one of those promos. It had actually had a unique promo. I feel like this was getting close to on par with some of like the very unique Japanese promos. And I think at the time, this this was a just a twenty dollar box. It had four packs in it, plus the promo, maybe like a little figure or something. If you pre-order, you get it for like fifteen. Checked recently, these things are going for like seventy. The boxes and like graded ten of this promo is going for like four hundred. Really crazy. I, I do want to do a, like a separate video just talking about this and kind of like how you know keep an eye out for boxes with very unique promos. Here's the Espion Deoxys. Uh, still a lot of cards of like this that were in Tag All Stars that we're still waiting for in English. Very confused what's going on there. Okay, so this was uh, I don't remember what this star set is called, but like there are a couple um, kind of like secret rare shinies um, that were kind of. Like, I didn't know about them till I don't know, this past year, so I want to get those great dust gold. There's another one coming up. We got the shiny Lugia. This is the promo. I believe this came from the Shining uh, Shining Legends kind of like um, premium box. Mewtwo from Evolutions. Here's another Blastoise Plip Plip. Glaceon, again from that promo. Leafeon, as well as this Regigigas, kind of random. Maxi's hidden ball trick when you open a lot of random XY packs sometimes you get some sweet cards to be graded Raichu Raichu Al Mega Alexam EX that is a pretty cool art Battle Reporter a Rocket Moltres Typhlosion not T7 T18 Another Rocket Zapdos Professor Oak and then here are the rest of the CEC uh, I believe I have one of each of them Celesteel GX, just going through kind of like uh, the stacks of uh, hits from the various sets. Pick some that were well centered. Uh, Muck Muck, I was a big fan of this card. <laughs> Whale Lord Magikarp, Full Art Suicune, a Mimikyu, and to wrap things up, here's that shiny Omega. And wrapping up with the Stoutland, I think this is just at the end because I just forgot to enter it, so I just put it at the end of the submission. So that's it for part two again there's one more part uh which we'll put out later in the week um but yeah hope you enjoyed this video as always like comment and subscribe if you enjoy the content i'm wanted turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace